some people have asked about how having girls in scouting will change the experience. In Cub Scouts, it looks pretty similar to the way that it looks now. You have dens of different grades, all the way up to Weebelos. Now, dens are made based on grade and gender. There are separate dens for boys and separate dens for girls. When you don't have enough youth to make up a full den, you may combine grades together. For example, wolves and bears. Generally, they meet together as a pack to do awards and activities. They do come together at times, but dens function separately, as they always have. So it's still the same great Cub Scouting experience people love. So how will Girls in Scouts BSA change the scouting experience? With Girls in the Scouts BSA program, the experience doesn't change. Boys in Scouting stay in an all-boy troop. New troops are being formed for girls. So girls lead their troops, and boys lead their troops. The real genius of scouting is the leadership opportunities it provides. Sure, there's the adventure, the camping, and the skills, but the opportunity to lead a patrol or a troop, that's special. This common sense approach to troop structure ensures that boys and girls alike get the leadership experiences that has made scouting so successful. here for the East Fork Scout Camp Leaders Meeting. I'm here with Greg Anderson, who is the Reservation Director, the Hinkley Scout Ranch Director, and my name is Matt Durant, and I am the Director for the East Fork Scout Camp at Hinkley Scout Ranch. How are you guys doing today? You know, actually, when I asked that, I didn't re I, you know, I, you guys can't answer back, it's awkward. All right, um, <laughs> so moving on. <laughs> Good job, Greg. So, uh, you know, just to, in case some of you guys have some questions, we just wanted to make a quick video for our leaders meeting, uh, just so you guys can understand all that. If you have any questions, just, you know, comment below and we will answer that as we go along. And we'll probably make a few more videos too between now and camp season to answer any more questions and to cover more material as it comes up. So, so Matt, um, like what's, what's the big things that, you know, like that we need to do to get ready for camp, you know, just as a troop? Good question. So um, a lot of people always wonder that, especially if this is your first time coming to camp. Um, one of the big things that you need to take care of before uh, you come to camp is, if possible, is swim checks. Um, there is a swim check roster that you can download uh, on the East Fork uh, Scout Camp website. Um, and if you take that, you can go to any of the local swimming pools and whatnot. Most of them know the drill, they know what to do, the lifeguards have done it before. Um, and if you can have that prepared with you, um, have everyone do their swim check beforehand and bring that paper and, and just turn it in when you come to camp, um, that's great because that makes your first day at camp a lot smoother, a lot easier. Um, and then they don't have to jump in the cold lake right off the bat. Yeah, I mean, we do have it available at camp, but it is a little bit cold. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, you don't want to wait in the line the moment you get to camp. Right. Bottom line is everyone does need to do a swim check um, so you know you can either do it beforehand or you can do it at camp um, the other main thing that that everyone needs to have is a medical form mm. um, and for East Fork you do need parts A B and C which means that everyone who comes uh, including adults mm. uh, does need to go have a physical done by a doctor within the last year uh, so make sure that you've got that that one uh, if you don't have it done 
beforehand is a lot harder to take care of uh, after the fact. So please, please make sure you've got that one done beforehand. Um, and then the last thing, um, anyone who's going to do high adventure, because we are offering a lot of high adventure this year, um, the Ridgeline High Adventure Base is now part of East Fork Scout Camp. Um, just make sure that anyone who's going to participate in that starts training a little bit before that um, so they can be prepared for that because those uh, activities are a little more physically demanding. Mm. Uh, and the last thing we want is for someone to get hurt or sick or you know have to be taken off the mountain because they're not physically prepared for that. So any preparation you can do for that um, would be very helpful. Yeah, especially with mountain biking or backpacking. Uh, some of our backpacking trips are quite long. And if you're gonna go on a 50 miler and you haven't been on any hikes for the last six months, it's gonna be super hard for you. So just make sure you're ready for it um, and just get into shape and things should be easy for you. Right, and a helicopter ride's about $10,000. Yeah, it's not great, it's not great. They Plus you like can't that. take a helicopter in the high unit as well. So not it's so even well. tougher. Yeah, <laughs> So awkward. be prepared. Yes, indeed. So, okay, Matt, I, I'm a Scoutmaster. I just got to camp, what happens? Well, hello, Scoutmaster. Hey, how's it nice going? Nice to meet you. All right, so um, we're going to check you in. So you want to come to the to the main gate. We'll have a troop friend, a staff member there, um, ready to greet you, and they will take you through the checkout process. Um, so you'll come and you'll drop off all your paperwork, so all your swim checks, your medical forms, um, everything that you have like that collected uh, about your boys. Um, and you'll go through the, the, the check-in process. We'll check your medical forms, make sure that everything's okay, see if there's any kind of special considerations we need mm. on those. Uh, and then we'll take you on a tour of camp. Um, we'll show you where your campsite is, we'll show you around a little bit where the different program areas are, um, kind of get you familiar with, with the, the camp. Uh, and then for anyone who still needs to do a swim check, we'll take you down to the waterfront and we'll make sure that that happens there. Awesome. Sounds easy. Yeah. It's not too bad. Very cool. Very cool. So, uh, you know, there's some really cool stuff that uh, I know about that uh, we've uh, had on the schedule this year. Um, so what's new this year? All right. So a couple things. Um, we're going to try and... Uh, uh, change a couple things up. So before we've had three hour time blocks for merit badges, um, what we've done is we've divided those in half. So now we have hour and a half time blocks. Um, and the cool thing about that is it makes it possible to uh, possibly fit in a couple more activities that you wouldn't do otherwise. Uh, and it also makes it kind of a little bit uh, better pace. Um, you know, it's, it's kind of hard to sit there for three hours and sometimes and listen to environmental science or whatever merit badge you're covering. But in this way you get to break up the day a little bit more uh, and, and add a little more variety into your schedule. Um, another thing that we've kind of already mentioned is the Ridgeline High Adventure Base is part of East Fork Scout Camp now. Uh, so that means that you can bring uh, you know, your older kids in your unit. Uh, they can come and have something to, to participate in. Um, if they don't necessarily want to do merit badges or whatnot, if they want to go on a 50 mile we have stuff they can sign up. We've got we've got itineraries for for uh, backpacking trips in the high Una's wilderness that they can sign up for and go participate in. And if they want to do a one that lasts a whole week, we've got one. If they want to do one that lasts three days and then they want to spend the rest the, the other two days in camp doing merit badges or doing other high adventure activities, we have that option as well. Or if they just want to do like an overnight hike. You know, they can do that and then participate in, you know, the regular high adventure stuff like cope and climbing. We've got those. Um, action archery, uh, low cope, which is POW camp, we call that, call it that. Uh, or they can do merit badges with the rest of the, the kids at, at camp. Um, another cool thing is we also have, uh, you know, following the theme of bring everyone to camp. Uh, we've got a new scout program. Um, I used to be the director for Camp Tracy, which was specialized in trail to first class, getting you know helping new scouts with their first scout camp experience, getting them uh, you know on their way towards first class. And we brought elements of that program over to East Fork, and we have some of the previous Tracy staff actually teaching those and staffing that, so they know. Uh, very well what what to do and how to help kids progress towards that so you know any new scouts that you have bring them up we'll have something for them um, and we've set it up so that they can pick and choose mm. if there's certain requirements they need for uh, rank up to first class they can pick that and then they can go do merit badges so it's not like they're locked into one thing the whole time they can pick and choose um, Another cool thing that, that we are uh, bringing to East Fork this year is uh, Order of the Arrow elections. Oh, cool. Um, so we're going to have the opportunity for anyone who wants to to have an Order of the Arrow election in their unit 
and then those who are elected will be able to be inducted into the order there at camp. We will have uh, an, an ordeal there uh, for them to participate in and become members so they can walk away with the sash and the patch and everything. Uh, so for people who don't know what OA is, just like a couple sentences, what does it mean? Sure. Um, so the Order of the Arrow is the National Honor Society of Scouting. Um, it's it's uh, for uh, anyone who's a member of that is elected by their peers. And these are the scouts that exemplify the scout oath and law, um, that love camping, that love service. Um, and, and once they're elected by their peers, um, they can come and they can join this, this organization, and like I mentioned, the National Honor Society of Scouting, and that gives them access to uh, extra activities, extra leadership training, um, some other things that they might not be able to get uh, in, in scouting otherwise or in their, in their units. Now, it doesn't take them away from the unit. Um, it gives them extra tools to help the unit succeed and, and progress. Um, so it's, it's a really a, a great honor for any scout that's elected to the Order of the Air. Now in order to do that, um, there are, you know, there's some certain minimum requirements, uh, but anyone who meets these minimum, re minimum requirements can be in the Order of the Air. And they have to be at least a first class scout, and they have to have 15 days and nights of camping in the last two years. Um, and then just be elected by their unit. So uh, we want to get as many as we can to come and join this, and, and we'll have some special stuff up there for them. Um, but you may have seen these scouts. These are the ones that wear the, the white sash with the red arrow on it, and then they have this this patch that they get to wear in the uniform as being a member of the Order of the Air. So that's kind of a cool thing that, that we're offering this year. Cool opportunity, yeah. Wow. All right. Well, um, so, you know, you've mentioned a lot of really cool activities. Like, how do you sign up for that stuff? All right. Um, so online, uh, when uh, April 1st is when all the activities go live, uh, sign up for Merit Badges, sign up for High Adventure. Um, if you've signed up for uh, camp before and, and brought your, your kids to camp, um, it's the same as you've always done it before. You know, you select your Merit Badge classes and whatnot, but now you'll also see some other options. You'll have things like High Adventure that you'll be able to select. And if you select that option, it'll, it'll bring up the other activities that are available within that, mm. um, that you can then choose individually which kids want to participate in that. Same with the new Scout options. Um, those will come up like, uh, like you would register for Merit Badges and you can select what options you want there. Oh, okay, so just the same as Merit Badges. That makes sense. Yeah, it's the same as Merit Badges, just more options now. Very cool. Man, that's exciting. Cool. Now some of them, um, some of them have to have a kit or, uh, you know, other materials that are there. So there is a little additional fee there and that will show you exactly what it is. Um, you know, so, uh, some of them like um, leather work or wood carving or whatnot, we don't actually have an option to sign up for that. And the reason is because we have an open craft area this year. So anyone can come and go anytime they want to the craft area and work on any of those type of merit badges. Now they'll probably need to purchase a kit at the trading post. Um, the cost for that will vary depending on what they want, um, but anyone can come and go and they can work on those as, as they see fit. So that's kind of a cool thing too. That's really cool because that's one thing I've seen at camp is that you know sometimes you know you get out of class early and you don't have anywhere to go. Right. Um, or you know sometimes a kid just you know they really just they don't want to do a normal class and so kind of cool to uh, being able to let them do that stuff. Yeah, exactly. And that's 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 one of the other cool things that we're we're changing up this year. We're giving a little more freedom in that regard. Yeah. And then we're going to have some other cool activities um, with uh, learning how to plan wilderness high adventure things. Um, we've got some uh, cool leave no trace and outdoor ethics activities that we've got as well. Um, just all kinds of things. We have blacksmithing as usual. That's always mm, been a big draw. That's awesome. uh, so you know, we've got everything that we've. We pretty much have everything that we've always had, and then some. Um, we're trying to make this an extra cool activity, extra cool camp uh, for for everyone to come participate in. Find something that they like to do. And we've also added a couple new merit badges, like like movie making, for example. That one will be kind of cool. Wow. Um, kids will have the opportunity to come do that, participate in making a movie. Um, and we're going to try and use our social media to be able to let the parents see the work that, that the kids are doing at camp. We'll show them the photographs that they take in photography class or the movies that they make. We'll, we'll have those available for everyone to see. So kind of a cool deal. So do they need to bring uh, a camera for movie making or uh, photography? Best thing that they can do is if they have a cell phone, bring one of these. Because this has a camera and this also has a video camera in it. That makes sense. Well, and I, I you know, it's one of those things that I think in scouting uh, sometimes, like, 
Um, I know there's some people that are like, you know, very against uh, cell phones. There's some people that are very for. Um, I think there's kind of a middle ground, and there's some places just, you know, teaching them to use it responsibly. Mm -hmm. um, but if if that's something that you are not interested in having people with your troop um, have, just make sure you bring a camera. Right. Um, we can get that working. We'll always, you know, we'll always welcome a regular camera, handheld camera, and, and whatnot. But a cell phone will do the trick if that's what we want. all that we have. So. Um, one other thing to be aware of is if your troop wants to participate in doing a skit or, or a song at the campfire, um, come talk to one of the commissioners beforehand and, and we'll be able to get you on the schedule. We need to have it approved first, uh, but we'll be able to get you on the schedule for the Friday night campfire. So come prepared for that. Also, I would come prepared for a cheer every day at the flag ceremony. Um, there's a lot of cool cheers that come up every year at Scout Camp. We want to see yours. Make it cool. Be prepared with it. Um, another cool thing that we're we're offering at, at camp this year is the opportunity to do some more meaningful service projects. Um, and one of the things that we've kind of built into the new Scout program is uh, for you know for first class, for second class, for tenderfoot. Um, each one of those requires an hour to you know three hours of service. Uh, and so on Friday we blocked off some time to actually have them do some of that service that's required for their badges. Now, it's not just limited to them. Anyone who needs service or anyone who just wants to help out can participate in that service time on Friday. Um, but we're going to have some really great, I mean there's always things that need to be done at camp. <laughs> and we're going to give the scouts some opportunities to do those kind of things to get that service experience uh, and to give back to camp. And you know. Doing service makes you feel kind of good too. Yeah, so. that's true. Uh, yeah, I so I hear that we have some uh, some new things coming up here at camp. It sounds pretty exciting. Yeah, it is. It is pretty exciting, and I, I think I've I've uh, we, we've talked about some of the new program things, but we've also got some new things happening with the facilities. Uh, hey, awesome. We are getting a new kitchen this year, mm. which is going to be pretty awesome. Uh, we're also getting new tables at the campsites. Uh, so these will be nice metal tables, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, so they're not going to break under the snow. Uh, they're going to be, you know, super easy to, to deal with and whatnot. We're excited to have, you know, some new facilities and, and you know, new kitchen. And I hear we're also uh, at some point getting a new rifle range, is that correct? Yes, indeed. We're getting our, our uh, rifle range renovated. Uh, part of that is going to be taking place during the summer, but mm -hmm. we're looking forward to it. It's going to be really cool. Uh, we're going to have some opportunities to do things we've never had before. So it's going to be really cool. Yeah. So camp's going to be busy all summer. We're going to there's there's going to be you know there's going to be a little bit of construction. There's going to be you know the new facilities being installed and whatnot. But we're going to be able to run camp as normal. You know, and, and it's it's going to be great. We're really, really looking forward to having some of these updates, and it's it's just going it's going to be an awesome summer. Mm -hmm. We're excited. It's going to be great. Well, cool. We're looking forward to having you. Yeah. Um, if you have any questions, let us know. Feel free to type it in the comments. We'll be able to answer those. Uh, and as always, feel free to give us a call or an email or whatnot, and uh, look for the other videos that we post online uh, to fill in other information as needed. So thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you.